Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I'm filming my swatch video from my swap with Melissa. So over here I have a whole pile of things that she sent me and I'm just going to get into swatching them. There are a couple of things I'm not going to swatch, so a couple of the Bare Minerals things. I'm going to be swatching the Revlon Peach Petal Lip Gloss because I already have one opened and I just want to keep this closed as a backup. So let's just get started. I'm going to do a quick close up of the nail polish just first. Before I get into swatching. Okay, so let's start with the high end. The first nail polish with the pink shatter. Just coming off a bit more red. Then there was Butter London's Bluey. Which is a really pretty colour. There is the Sally Hansen Magnetic Nail Colour in Graphite Gravity. The Revlon Color Stay Nail Polish in Sorbet. The Revlon Nail Art in Breakup, I believe that's what the color is. So it's, this side's a crackland and this is just a dark brown that's coming off a bit black. Then there is the Rimmel Lasting Pro in poly, Posh Pink. The Rimmel Last and Finish Pro in Rags to Riches. The Spoiled Nail Polish in Cougar Attack. And the Spoiled Nail Polish in Fuzzy Coat. Okay, so I'm going to start with the high end palette and then move down to the lower price range palettes and the first palette is the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette which looks like this. Okay, so the first palette is the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette and it looks like this. And the shades are, yeah I have swatched a very lot, so this is Tough Suede, this is Venetian Bunny and this is Fresh Linen. This is Chinchilla, this is Pebbles, and this is Vintage Violet. This is Coffee Bean, this is London Fog, which is really pigmented like navy blue. And this is Midnight, which is like a grey colour. Next is the Love and Beauty by Forever 21 eyeshadow notebook. And in this I swatched this colour, this colour, this colour and this colour. And so they are here, here, dodgy swatches, here, and here. This shadow is this shadow right here, which is really like very foiled metallic looking, which I think will be fun to play with. Next is the NYX Wicked Dreams palette, and here I have swatched some of the colours up to here. So these colours, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one are from the Wicked Streams palette, which I'll just show you. They are a bit hit or miss I've seen while swatching, but they are really beautiful colours to play with. Next, keeping the NYX, is the Smoky palette, and they are these five, six shadows right here. And these ones are really nice. This is the black with sparkle and a really nice purple. Okay, so now onto drugstore palettes. The first is the Revlon Color State Quad in Brazen. And that is these four shadows right here. These two are very light and are kind of more all over the lid light colors. These two are very pigmented and really pretty though. The next is the Revlon Color State Quad in Inspired. And I really do like this one. So it is... This colour here, which you can't see because it's the white, this really pretty like tealy blue colour, this green here, which you can't see, but it is really nice. It's not the most pigmented, but it gives like a nice green shimmer, which I think is really nice. And then this like purpley dark blue colour right here, which I really like. Next is the Rimmel London Beauty Spells quad. I really like this one too, actually. I think this might be my favourite of the drugstore quads that she gave me. 
So this is the black sparkly colour. This is the like pinky purple colour. This is a purple and this is like the silver. They are so beautiful. I will wear these a lot. Next is the Alme Wake Me Up Shadow in Exhilarate. So that is this shadow here, which is like a really, can you see that white, the purple, and then this like brown colour, which is kind of nice, but it's not particularly pigmented right here. Okay, so she got me two of the Rimmel Glamize HD shadows. I really do like the consistency of these shadows, but I don't think they're in the most convenient packaging because you only have these like three little sectors to get the colour out of. I think that it could be, I, I think it's cute packaging, but I think it could have been engineered a better way so that maybe you had one colour in each corner. I know that's not really the Union Jack, but it's kind of difficult to swatch these and I think it might be difficult to use. But the first one, which is English Rose, is this colour, this colour, this colour, and this, whoop, this colour, just the pink that's in the, this diagonal, which was really hard to swatch because there wasn't much room. And then this one, which is English Oak, is this shade here, it's the centre shade. Ooh. This is like a light silvery goldy shade. Oh, this is the champagne colour, sorry, that's why it's not coming up. Kind of like golden champagne. This shade here, which is the pink, and then this shade here, which is the brown that's in the middle of the diagram. Diagram? It's not really a diagram. Next is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Classic Car Keys, which has two matte shadows, which will be really fun to use. I did swatch the number one, but you can't see it. But this is the khaki colour right here. It's really nice. It's not like too olive, but it's a nice colour. And then it, the last one is the LA Colors Iris Palette, which as we can tell are the bright three colours right here. This one is the pink, and it's obviously not as pigmented, but these two are going to be fun to play with. Okay, so now onto single eyeshadows. The first one I have is Milani's Maroon, which is the colour 16. And there's this really pretty deep purple colour right here, which is really pigmented. I really like it. Next are the L'Oreal Infallibles. And I'm going to just go across where I have them swatched and read off what they are because I have them in my lap. So this one here is Gold Imperial. This one is blinged and brilliant. This is Amber Rush. This is Primson Precious. And this is Bronze Taupe. This here is Wet n Wild Blush in Heather Silk. This is the NYX Liquid Illuminator in Sunbeam. And under that I have swatched NYX's High Beam and they are very, very similar. So I'm glad to have those. Finally, we're on to lip products. Starting with the NYX lipsticks, this is the NYX Round Lipstick in Louisiana. This is the NYX Black Label Lipstick in Poet. This is the NYX Black Label Lipstick in India. And over here I have put the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel over it because I was, I was switching it right here. It looked really pretty. I thought it would look really pretty over this, which it does right here. Next is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. Cream Lipstick in Temptress, which is really pretty. Next is the L'Oreal Caress Colorish, or Caress, Colorish Caress Lipstick, so the ones that looks like this. And this is in Pink Cashmere, I believe. Yep, 11171 Pink Cashmere. This is the Milani HD Color, HD Advanced Lip Color in 112 Vivacious Fuchsia. This is the Maybelline Baby Lips in Pink Shock. This is the Soft Lips in Sweet, the Soft Lips in Sultry. This is the, um, what's it called? Colour of Great Lip Gloss by Philosophy. It's this one. This one is the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss, which I think, which does it have a colour? Cupcake, the colour Cupcake. I think this will be my mum's colour, so I may give that to her. This is the Rimmel Stay Glossy 
lip gloss in Temptress. This is the Revlon Super Lecturer's Lipstick in Lip Gloss in Pink Pop. And this is the Milani, what's this called? Crystal Gloss for Lips, and this is in the colour Fruit Punch. And as I said, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. So those were all my swatches from my swap with Melissa. I'm sorry I had to go through that so quickly. But there was so much stuff I wanted to swatch for you guys. So here it all is. If you'd like to see further reviews or first impressions, let me know and I will include it in a new series I'm starting called Favourite or Fail Friday, which will be up in a couple of weeks I think it's going to be starting. So I'm definitely happy to review any of these products for you. Just let me know. Okay. See you guys in my next video. Bye!